This is my experience with LSD gel tabs and the ego death that followed. Now I've done LSD numerous times, all in paper form, different kinds from different dealers, etc. Some of them not really LSD, that's why it's important to test your drugs beforehand. But anyways, our main guy, who normally supplies us with the paper form of LSD, had some special gel tabs come in. And they're for his personal collection, he is an artist. So what he would do is he'd trip out on LSD and he'd do art. He's actually a very, very good artist and his art career's taken off. But anyways, he had gel tabs come in. He was selling them for $10 a piece, which is about average around here. So we ended up buying 10 of them and split them between five of us. So we were going to trip. I was over at my friend's house and him and his girlfriend dropped one. Now being an experienced tripper, I could do three or four tabs. Well, I dropped two of these gel tabs. And what followed was absolutely nuts. <laughs> At first, we were just pretty high because we smoked a big old blunt to start with. But all of a sudden, it started getting really, really, really fried. <laughs> like I was at the point where I was so fried, my first instinct when I reached the peak was thinking, oh, fuck, I messed up on this one. <laughs> it was it was nuts. But then I got a hold of myself, so I realized it's just the acid. It's no big deal. Figure it out from there and just kind of go with it. And after I got a hold of myself, the trip really started happening. Like, things got really interesting. I remember looking at my friend who took one tab, and he looked at me and said, I'm fried, dude. And I got into a laughing fit over that for, like, the next hour. <laughs> I was just stuck in a fucking laughing fit. And it was terrible, but it was hilarious at the same time. So, well, the trip continued throughout the night. We were just doing a bunch of dumb shit. And uh, we listened to music. We had this psychedelic light that was up in the the lamp on the ceiling. Excuse me, the ceiling fan. And it was shining down on the wall. And it had like a bunch of different like colored lights and everything. And it was all moving around and all that. And then we had this speaker that lit up different colors and everything. And we had that placed up against the wall as well. So when you're tripping, it looks really freaking cool. It looks cool just when you're sober. But anyways, we set that up, and we were just tripping out to some music, just chilling, smoking, tripping, and uh, all of a sudden, now, someone's going to dog me for this, I already know, but MGK song, Blue Skies, came on, and I went somewhere else. I'm not a big fan of MGK. I mean, I like a couple of his songs. That's about it, but that song just took me somewhere else completely. I had my first ego death experience and it was very, very powerful. I mean, it's completely changed my viewpoint on everything. Because for a minute there, I was at complete peace. Nothing mattered. Everything around me was with me and I was part of everything. It was the absolute most amazing thing I've ever felt in my entire life. It was also very scary at the same time, but the thing is, you just gotta go with it. That's what I've learned on LSD is you just gotta go with the stuff. And take it from there. And then after that, we tripped to MGK's Blue Skies the rest of the time. Highly recommend that song for when you're on high doses of acid. Because it's wonderful. It just takes you somewhere else. There's a bunch of songs that do that. But yeah, the trip lasted a considerable amount of time. Uh, we went late into the night. About 2 o'clock. And I finally, I carry a kill kit on me. Which is like some Benadryl, Trazodone, and another kind of pill so I can end the trip when I need to in case I can start freaking out or if I just want to go to bed in general. And I ended up taking that and going to sleep. But absolutely insanity. I was not prepared for the strength of the gel tabs. We asked him later and he said each tab was about 2.5 hits or 2.5 hits, whatever, how many mics that comes out to, I'm not sure. But it was a fair amount. And in a nutshell, that's my experience of LSD gel tabs.